Good afternoon, y'all. I've, I've been wanting to do this video for a long time. We're about to scout out Shaver Lake right now. The smallmouth, I think the biggest one I've caught in the past, it's about maybe 15 to 13 inch. But majority of these bass in here, they're about maybe less than 10 inch. Uh, regulation over here is no size limit and you could catch up to five fish and I think it's because these bass over here they're overpopulating that's why there's no size limit I have four pound line on with one eighth bullet weight with size two hook and I believe this is a five inch uh, trick worm from zoom the pumpkin color it's one of my favorite one of my favorite color of all time the pumpkin color like I said before these bass they don't get too big so you want to go small profile and I might have a good chance of catching a pretty good size today too so let's do it yeah usually I, I fish for them I I usually just power fish you know just I usually don't take my time on it like how I usually do for spotted bass uh, they, they're pretty aggressive, so all you have to do is just cast it out and just, you know, work your way in real quick. Thump, thump, thump. Just reel it in, drag it, whatever, but um, you work it pretty fast, and they usually get it pretty quick. So work around this cove for a little bit. They might be more in the shallow. I'm pretty sure there's some shallow spot over there, but we'll work our way over there. Oh, I got a bite. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, these little ones fight like a champ. Oh, there's another one chasing it too. It was a much bigger one. Oh, there was a bigger one chasing it. Yeah, that one's a little small mount. Yes, sir. A little tiny one. That's a nice, beautiful color on her. Oh. Got one. Oh, yep. This one might be a okay size. Yep, they find like a champ. Oh, that was right off the drop too. This guy was committed to it because he got my hook pretty good. Yeah, so these smallmouth they don't get too big. This is about average size, you could say. Good eating fish. Yeah, they're super aggressive. Just like the spotted bass, they actually run down. They don't jump up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so this guy is about maybe eight inch. They don't grow too big. So these are actually, you know, average size. Good eating fish. <laughs> And like I said before, there's no size limit on these. You could keep up to five fish per person. All right, we're gonna let her go. I usually catch them on spots that look like this. Yeah, anything that has, anything that has a rock sticking out, just like that. Yep, just like that. And there's also one more right there right there yeah so anything that stick out is usually a good spot where the smallmouth will be at 
and I threw it right on top of it too right on top of the rock and it kind of slid down and right when it fell down it bit oh my gosh oh what is going on today oh my gosh they're biting but they're not getting it oh there you go oh yep here he comes oh this this one's a good size this one's a good size yo this one's actually not bad at all yep this one's a good size yo Ooh, this one's a good size boom right there oh check this one out yo it's been a while since i caught one this big this one is easily 13 inch right here <laughs> boom man I'm, I'm gonna take this one home for sure yes sir <laughs> look check this out he bit it pretty good man yeah i'm actually right here where all the rock piles are at or of the big boulder and all i did was just i just cast it out right in the open the boat this boulder right here that i'm at it actually goes all the way down. I could see that it's just nothing but but plain boulder. And then there's a few rock pile right here, a few rock pile right there. And I think th these bass right here, they're trying to warm up. So they're actually just sitting right on top of the boulder uh, for the day and try to bite whatever that's coming their way. <sighs> Might catch a few more. If I'm lucky, it's actually pretty deep right here. It's about maybe a 25 feet drop right here. Oh, got one. There you go. Ooh, Ooh this one might be big too. Oh, yep, yep. This one's a good size, yo. This one's a good size. Oh. Oh, this one's a good size. Yep. This one's not bad. This one is almost as big as that last one. Ugh. One reason why I like fishing for these guys. Yep. They fight like a champ. Yeah, so like I said before, this is about the average size. They don't get too big. I mean, I've seen some big ones, some bigger ones down here, but majority of the time you're gonna catch just these size, about 10 inch. Got one. Yep. This guy's not bad. Damn. Right there, yo. Boom. That one is about 12 inch right there. Man. They're pretty aggressive. Yeah, I got here. I got here a little bit early this morning. I got here about uh about 11 o'clock. I've been fishing for a whole hour and they weren't really biting until just now. Uh, it's either that or I might have found where all the bass are at. <laughs> Man, check this guy out. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, so the way I'm doing it right now is 
I'm just dragging it along the bottom. And once I feel like my rod goes completely up, I'll just thump it. I'll thump it and I'll just let it pause for about a good five seconds. I'll just repeat that over and over again. Just like that. Drag it. And then thump, thump, thump. And just let it sit. And I'll just drag it. Drag it, and then thump, thump, thump. Just let it sit. They usually bite right when you let it sit, or right when you pause. Oh, I got a bite. There you go. Oh, bam! Yeah. Bam, right there. <laughs> Yeah, they're pretty aggressive. This guy bit pretty good. I set the hook right on top of his um, mouth or right on top of his nose. Right there. Yeah, so like like I said, they're just they're biting onto that pause. <clears throat> right when you drag uh, right, right when you drag and pause, they usually take it right there and then. I go. I got a bite. Oh, there we go. Boom! Just dragging it along the bottom. Oh, this guy's a fighter, yo. I think this this guy's a fighter, yo. Oh. This guy fight like a champ, and it's a good size. Bam! Right there. Woo! This is my seventh fish already. Oh, I got a fish. I got a fish. Bam! Boom. I forgot what number fish this is. Oh, it's just a little small one. <laughs> Man, that's fish. Fish number eight. Fish number eight. Oh, I got a bite. Here we go, y'all. Oh, boom. My ninth fish right here. Right here, yo, my ninth fish. Oh, this one's a pretty good size, too. This one's a pretty good size, too, yo. Bam. This one is about, about 10 inch right here. Woo. This guy's a good size. I only needed one fish to limit out, but I'm probably gonna call it a day. <laughs> yeah, these are not too bad. They lost their color because they died out. But these are some nice eating fish. Yeah, so that's pretty much how I do it to catch these uh, smallmouth bass. Hey. I'll see you guys next time.